What is up, you crusty nut clusters? I'm Stud, and you are the amazing, Yay. the beautiful baby girl, Mandy. The love, the love, mm, the love down under. Anyways, welcome to the motherfucking McStud show. It's birthday edition. She is 43 tonight. <laughs> Not me. Yes, 43 young years old. That's all you old guys. How does it feel? Uh, how does it feel? <sighs> About the same as it did when it was 22. Well, that's good. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. yeah better than 12. Better than 80. I don't know. 80, it might hang a little lower. But anyways, <laughs> let's have a tasty beverage. What are you drinking on? Another steel. Steel Reserve spiked pineapple. Mm -hmm. Pineapple for the uh, the pipes. Yeah. Yeah. For your pleasure. Oh, I mean. And your pain. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Need me to open it up? Yes, please. It's not the first time she's asked that. No. You have to open up my cans every day. Oh. Uh, these? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Cheers, baby. Oh. Jesus Christ. Cheers. You didn't say the prayer before you ate dinner. What the fuck? <laughs> I didn't drink it yet. I almost did. Going straight to malt liquor hell. Mm. 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 Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. No, no, thank you, thank you, thank you. As you guys can tell, I've de-aged about 10 years since yesterday. Yeah. Or, well, I've got a haircut and I shaved. Yes. Balls still look like they're 80, but it's okay. Take care of them later. <laughs> So, before we get into the fun, I hear you got some pickle shots. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. So, we made a road trip to get the 40s. Uh, we didn't have these in the last video. But we got these little guys. They're delicious. They're called uh, do Pickle pickle Shot. Yeah, uh, don't the pickle. pickle. Didn't they have a spicy one or something? I think so. Kind of curious. Next time we see them, I'm going to try a spicy one. Oof. Mm. I, I, I think it would be good. I was worried about heartburn always. I just want to bend over and have you like plug it in my butt. Mm. So I want that quick pickle. You want the spicy one? Yeah, the quick spicy pickle buzz for my butthole shot. Oh, so you want the burning yes. stink wrinkle? Yes, the burning stink wrinkle. Got it. Mm. It doesn't stink though, it's just wrinkled. Oh. My butthole smells like. Thank you. My, smells like, you're welcome, uh, the iced animal crackers. I don't think those really have a scent. They do. They smell delicious, just like my butthole. Yeah, Cheers. I'll take your word for it. Mm, <laughs> we're going to get more in the butthole in a minute. Mm. It's delicious. It's like pickle juice, literally. So I, you can't even really taste the alcohol. I remember when I made the pickle shots? You did. They're delicious, too. They're good, but I like those. These are good, and it's also good to put a, a pickle spear in beer. Oh, like regular tried, regular beer, it's delicious. I've done it with the spicy pickles, and it's pretty good like that too. Oh. But what's next on the menu, you may ask? Since uh, what did we what did we talk about last time? I think buttholes. We did. We talked about buttholes. We got more butthole talk. Oh, dear Lord. What is your opinion, and how do you feel about anal candling? So, what does that consist of? You stick a candle in your ass and you light it. You know, you put like a candle in your ear. Yeah, so I want to do that. Yeah. I guess it's for the butt. What's the purpose? I don't know. And honestly, I don't know if it's true. It looks like you can find a book on it online. I don't know if you can actually buy it and get that far, but I've seen it for years and it still exists. I Googled it earlier because I was wanted to make sure that it's still a thing. But you, there's no information on it. I don't know if it's just like one of those novelty things or what. But it's a picture of an ass with a candle lit inside it. Yeah. Well, I would, uh, I'm not, not, not for me. Could you imagine a hot wax dripping down right onto your, your fucking poop crater? I think, oh, I thought you were going to say something else. What would you I think of say that? a lot of people like hot wax poured on them, but I don't know about the ass? area. Imagine if you like just had some, you know, you had a little glass candle and you dripped the hot wax on your asshole. You let it dry and you pull it up. You got a mold, a wax mold of your butthole. Are you trying to like give me ideas? It, no, like, are you trying? <laughs> is this what you'd like? 
No, 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 no. I can't do it for you. Oh, you can't? Mm -mm. Fuck, Stain. Uh, fuck. Um, yeah. How's your poop reflex? <laughs> I mean, you're the one that told me that you did the poop reflex earlier, and it was just a little poop. Okay. <laughs> so, so was, how's yours? If I was to ask you all. How was your poop reflex? Most people think I'm going to talk about a gag reflex. What if you got your poop reflex? I consider a... I just came up with this. I don't know if it's... It, someone might have already come up with this, so I'm not trying to steal anyone's ideas, but this literally just came up the first time tonight. I didn't Google to check to see if anyone else is referred to a poop reflex. Right. But when you get that feeling, you got to take a shit. Okay. I think that's like a poop reflex. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, it lets you know... You gotta drop some nuggets in the toilet. Right. Chicken nuggets. That's so like when I tell you I'm gonna go use the bathroom. With chicken nuggets? Yeah. Mmm. That sounds good. I eat chicken nuggets while I poop. But I consider the chicken nuggets that come out of your ass like the ones if you left in the deep fryer for an hour. Extra crispy. Pretty brown. Still tastes like chicken. What about green? Green is delicious. If you have enough green food coloring or anything with blue food coloring, you will poop green. It's a known fact. But anyways, what if someone doesn't have a poop reflex? Well, they probably shit themselves. Yeah, I guess that would be called anal incontinence, wouldn't it? Yeah. Is incontinence just reference referencing urine or it could be poop too? That's a good question. That is a good question. I'm not a doctor. Me either. But I did stay in a Holiday Inn last night. You know the commercials? Like, I'm not a doctor, but it's all oh, Holiday Inn Express. Oh, okay. You know those commercials? Yeah. 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 So, you know, they call me McStud, MD. <laughs> yeah, I've, uh, I've got my medical books on the bookcase. I reference them a lot when I treat medical conditions with my patients. I'm not how, licensed. How do you have any patients? I've got all the patients, really. I mean, like, patients, not... Yeah, I got all the patients. People are pretty. Oh, people patients. I don't have patients for people either. I'm talking about like oh medical my patients. Gosh. You know, I, I'm just a doctor. You know, I do, uh, uh, what do they call that? Where you, uh, what's it called? Dude, my, I'm a brain fart where you do it over the phone, like over like the camera on your phone. Online, like an online visit, but it's, there's like a term for it. You know what I'm saying? Telehealth. Telehealth. Yes, I'm a telehealth evangelist, medically. That's scary. <laughs> yeah. You know, they, they come with me with their poop problems, like, I'm just going to pray for your ass, and then I write them a prescription to shut the fuck up. How's your Google reviews? Uh, excellent. That's good. You know, actually, McStud is on Google surveys. Oh. People have done surveys and found me on the surveys from my YouTube shit. Huh. Yeah, kind of, kind of crazy. That is crazy. Yeah, like I don't know what the fuck they would ask. Like I've never asked anyone what they asked in the survey. I don't know if like how do you feel about this video, or did you masturbate to it, or would you masturbate with your mother while you watch this, or something like that. I'm guessing those are the kind of questions a Google survey would ask. I mean, I don't think so, but I won't ruin your mm. hopes and dreams. So, what? I won't ruin your hopes and dreams. You never do. You are my hopes and dreams. Um, but one thing I would like for us to get in the future is a bathroom, a large bathroom, but with toilets side by side so that when we both have to do our duty with poop from our booty, we can hold hands while we're doing it. You know... You know, the couple that poops together stays together. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I kind of, I'm starting to believe it because See? every time I'm like, I gotta go poop, you say, you want me, you need help? Yeah. You want me to hold your hand? Yeah. yeah, I'll sit on the edge of the tub while you poop. Hold your hand. See, like this right here, if we were both sitting on the toilet, just dropping bombs, battle shits left and right. Nah. There's not enough poopery. I'd be, yeah, I'd be gagging and stuff. From your butt? No, from a smell. No, would your gut be, butt be gagging? <laughs> no, probably not. Like your butthole would be contracting like this. <laughs> That's a poop reflex. No, it's excitement because you're pooping with your man. You know, nothing creates a bond between a couple like pooping together. Just think of orgasms. <sighs> Imagine getting fingered while pooping. 
I'd rather not. Just sitting on the toilet, someone's up in there like, and you're like, oh, oh, oh. and I bet, and I bet somebody out there has done that. And it probably swaps out, and like shit, water splashes my hand, but it blocks the snatch. And they probably don't even, they probably don't even wash their hands. They're just nasty. And then they pull it out, and they're like, yeah, they're just. Like, mm. Now let me wipe you. You get up another back to front. Oh my. For the Choco Taco Supreme. You're making me feel like I need to go take a shower again. I thought you were going to say shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, your pooper reflex is working really well. You know, I'm proud you of triggered you. triggered my pooper. I'm proud of you. You know, those Kegels are good for Kegels, Kegels, however you pronounce them. They're good for not only, you know, your badge, but also for butthole flexing. It keeps the O-ring toit. I, I don't have any concerns on whether it's i mean i'm pretty sure it's good i've never shit well since i am a doctor i need to check this out i can do medical related prostate exams on women you poke my butthole all the time you should just know let's do your pants okay <laughs> the real test when someone calls me and says is my pooper okay i'm like bend over you know, because if your butthole can take this, you probably got issues. <laughs> uh, yeah, major. Because if your butthole can birth this, then I have concerns for you, like, not walking around without a diaper. You haven't used this enough. <laughs> it never gets used other than this. Talking to the mic. Hello. <laughs> wow, do you hear the acoustics of that? That's why do it again. Hello. Oh, stop it. It's making my taint tingle. Jesus Christ. Has <laughs> your taint ever tingled? No. Would you like it to? No. Why? Keep drinking that pineapple spike, that spiked pineapple. It's going to tingle. Boy. No, the cooter tingles, not mm. the taint. How your foot can fall asleep, or a leg, or an oh, arm, God, or something yeah. like that. Can your pussy fall asleep? You ever just get that tingling feeling? Like, you just cut off blood flow to the pussy? I've never had that. How would you do that? You have to sit weird. You could be like someone that I watch on TikTok and do clam slams. Maybe that'll Let's trigger try. it. We could use some good clam slams in this house. <laughs> go ahead. You go ahead and learn how to mm -hmm. do them splits. I, I'm pretty fucking limber. I'm it's sorry. going down. <laughs> Nick Stud is limber. It's time to start stretching. You better move and stretch your ass. Remember that song? I think it was like, <laughs> yeah. I think it was like Pitbull and Whitney Houston or something. <laughs> what? 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 I still wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. <laughs> no, he ain't going there. <laughs> no P. Diddy. It's funny. It's funny, you know, I gave everyone P. Diddy hell about having all these bottles of lube, and then I come here, and then you just got like a, now people, uh, you know, like those doomsday preppers, they just stock up on shit. Mm -hmm. You go in her basement. When I, when in I got my here, basement? Well, when I got here, and I went in your basement for the first time, just lube. It's like you're in the lube emporium. Oh, my ex left it. I'm like, what do you need all this lube for? You're like... Viscosity. <laughs> <laughs> no. Anal viscosity. Gross. Oh, no. No, it's petroleum. P -p petroleum. <laughs> Not jelly, just, you know, lube. It's petroleum based and there's water based. Which do you yeah, prefer? I prefer none. They mm. both are sticky and nasty and I just don't like the feeling. That's why you need the, the edible kind. That way you can just lick it off. You know, it's like you're licking a ring pop. Yeah, I can just tell you to clean me off. An O-ring pop. An O-ring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it is. They're just like, no matter what kind you get, it's just sticky. Yeah, like they make sheet candy and they melt the candy down and you click it and it's like breaks up into pieces. What if you just like poured some of that hot candy on your butthole and you let it dry? And then you peeled it off, and now you've got a butthole candy mold that you can munch on. You just keep on talking about all these different ways of getting a fucking butthole mold. Mm. 
You want, me to, you want do... me to just? You want me to go ahead and do the thing so you the can chocolate? have the chocolate? The chocolate? Yeah, I do it. Do it. I like. Like, I'll take it to work. I'm like, hey, you like one of Mandy's bubbles? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm thinking oh, this is gonna have to be it. Like, I'll be like, wait, no. If you take the chocolate and you run your tongue over each ringle, it's like really licking her butthole. I have to look into this for Valentine's mm. Day. What's your box of chocolate? Mm, that'll probably be Duke's asshole, you old. <laughs> fuck, that's animal abuse. Or your probably. own. <laughs> How are you gonna do that? Why you sleep? I wake up sad. Meh. Yeah. Meh. Yeah. Like oh what what like, oh I'm just like oh my butthole's being pleasured. No. Yeah, you come. No. And then you go back to sleep. <laughs> no, I leave. <laughs> hey, nope, I didn't sign up for this shit. Yeah, playing no, on my playing with my butt in my sleep. That's like anal rape. I said no. I I'm said gonna be no. part of the I'm gonna be part of the Me Too fucking uh, thing. Like yes, I was abused <laughs> by Mandy. <laughs> she took advantage of me. She Bill Cosby my malt liquor one night. You wish. Next thing I know, I woke up bow legged and my asshole burned like someone put blazing sauce from B Dubs all over it. Well, then you begged her to do it again twice <laughs> it's okay though because you know it just it builds character and it makes you stronger because without adversity what is there to overcome unless you come too much that could be called overcome <laughs> <laughs> i suffer from overcome syndrome well how's that happen i watch the golden girls a lot hmm. did you really though what Watch the no, my Girls. grandma watched the Golden Girls. That's how I knew what they were. Um, but then I'd catch it every once in a while. And it, it's kind of a joke. It's not a bad show, really. Oh. But I did have a Golden Girls shirt. It's pretty epic. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it was uh, Dorothy in the Streets, Blanche in the Sheets. Because mm. Blanche was like the whore of the yes. uh, elderly. Mm, I watched some of it. Did you? Did you mm -hmm. masturbate while watching it? No. You know, I can always tell when a woman lies by the way they shake their head after they say no. I'm not a lesbian. They don't have to be a lesbian. Not All you have to do is a connoisseur. You just got to be a connoisseur of pleasure. Well, I'm not that. Mm. Oh, you are. I'm not. You are a train of pleasure. Chew, chew, motherfucker. I'm going to get you a shirt that has my face on it. Okay. You're going to wake. You're gonna go to do laundry one time that I don't. And I'm going to cut a hole where your mouth is. You're like, what's that for? See what it is. I put a flashlight behind it, and I'm just like... It's like I'm fucking your face. Do my shirt. Are you with that? Test me. Test me testies. Yes. I'm not doing that. Oh, we're at 17, 18 minutes. Oh, damn. Yes. Well, let's <laughs> finish it off. That was a good talk. I was having fun. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, just a, a little sneezy. Again, mm. I sneezed right before. If you were one of the seven dwarfs, you'd be sneezy? I would right start, now. I can see it in your eyes. Anyways, motherfuckers, thanks for watching. Mm. I'm Stud. This is Baby Girl, Amazing Mandy. And happy birthday, babe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Every year my nipples get an inch longer for my birthday. And by the time I'm 50, they're going to hang down to my dick and I can stick my nipple in my dick hole. He's and then lying. I can just like... He's lying. He has the tiniest nipples that ever existed. I thought you were say the dick, but that <laughs> works too. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Piece of bitches. Uh, sexual? <laughs>